I'm so glad. Hello and uh, good afternoon. I just started the car. It's very hot, so I have my phone down here in front of the air conditioner. I'm waiting for the car to cool down. Then I can put the phone back up at its normal mount. It's 31 degrees C outside, but the car is probably hotter because of the sun. Anyway, what's up, Armand? How are you? Hunter Demons, hello. Another work day is done. Tomorrow is my virtual Friday. And another week has come to pass. The first normal week after Eid. Now we're back in the swing of stuff. Debbie Mack, what is so come back? I'm not excited about summer coming back. Getting in the car, even though my car's in the shade, it's still hot inside. like this, somebody says something, then I look it up. You were feeding ducks. I, uh, didn't hear about no Asia problem. Heavy rain in the Middle East. Yeah, I seen where Dubai got flooded. We had rain too, but it wasn't no flooding. Dubai had a major problem. This happens every now and again. Every few years, storms come up. And they go away. It's not a big deal. The funny thing is, <laughs> let me put my phone up here. <laughs> I, you know the funny thing about a big torrential flooding and rain? All right. Rogue Traveler, hello. It's raining, it's flooded. And everybody sees the water everywhere. Why you dumbasses get out in your car driving around? If it's torrential rains and flooding, stay home. Why dumbass people out driving around in the car? <laughs> I don't get it. David, hello. I was I seen a little video about the D Dubai flooding. A bunch of people out driving around. Hey, it's flooding. Just stay home. Why you out driving around? Dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, just stay home. I don't know why you're out running around. They do the same in the U.S. Yeah, they do. If you see there's hellacious storms and coming and anything, you should just stay home. <laughs> there's no reason to be out driving around. During all the floods, if I was an insurance company, I wouldn't pay people money because of their stupidity driving around in a flood, trying to cross the street to six feet deep. Dumbass. People ain't very smart. No sense in that.
some people do it to collect insurance. Yeah, they flood their vehicle. That way they can get a better one, they think. They don't get replace your car. They give you a value number of your car. You still don't end up with no money. There's no such thing as making money when your car gets damaged or destroyed. You always lose. There's no profit. The insurance companies aren't stupid. You don't make any money. It's a loss. They don't, if they did replacement, it would be different. They don't do replacement. They give you value. That value money is, ends up what you can buy. Yeah. Anytime you have a car accident, you lose money. There's no benefit. Even if it's not your fault, you lose money. Because they give you the value of that car, but now you got to go buy a new one. That car is not available anymore. So you're going to be out. Just like when Chanel had the car wreck. I still had to pay six or $8,000 out of my pocket because that car is not available anymore. So it's not like it was a benefit. I mean, you end up with a new car, but still six, $8,000, that that's just a lot of money. Especially if you weren't planning on buying a new car or doing something. <laughs> to get a new car after one is destroyed, you're still going to be out of pocket $10,000. You ain't going to end up with no money. You got to pay. Most people don't understand how it works. They don't until they get in a problem. Then they understand how it works afterwards. Yeah, you, know, you get the value. You don't get no money. Poor Joe needs a car. Yeah, he does, but not that car he's looking for. That one is a nightmare. That would be a money pit. living is definitely a bad place to live without a car. It's not like living in California, New York, even the Philippines. There's transportation everywhere. You can get around cheaply, but where he's at, there ain't no taxis roaming around to jump in. Yeah, the Joe can't afford, that's the whole deal. The insurance and the upkeep. Not alone the insurance, it's the maintenance. Five dollars. He needs to get a heating on the chain. You don't want to. If you're not going to work every day, you're not trying to change. Doesn't matter how much you make, just that you make it every day. Remember Sham Sedin. He don't make a lot, but he works every day. And it adds up over a lifetime. Steady money adds up. Doesn't matter if you're a minimum wage or an executive. If you're working steady, money coming in instead of going out, it works. You don't have to be rich to become. Doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, I don't want to sit around and be broke. I'd work. Do anything. See, that's the problem with the, the Social Security disability for those who they don't understand that that $900 ain't no money at all. It's better to go to work. Make that in a week. <laughs> it's way better to work than be broke. Being broke sucks. 
that's the reason I work. I don't want to be broke. And I like to have a few things, you know. If I want a phone or something, you know, I, I just like to be able to have something. If I want to buy some new shoes, I ain't got to just freak out how am I going to get shoes, you know. The state and government money ain't no money at all. You can barely survive. It's just subsistence. Joe, so yeah, Joe needs to work. He could be a home. Uh, I'm on keto, dirt, lost 30 pounds. Well, well, that's good, man. I need to get back on it serious. I've been, since Ramadan, I went backwards again. I need to get hardcore into it again. I haven't. I've been faltering. Mine's not for weight loss, though. Mine is to keep healthy, that's all. <laughs> ah. It all works. All right. Hello, Earl from Earl. Yes. Getting home from work. We'll probably make some a couple of beef patties for our food. That's what I'll do. We'll cook a couple of beef patties and call it a day. Beef for lunch. We should do two Wagyu patties and two eggs. Why don't you make that meatloaf again? I do sometimes. I'm not in the mood today. Actually, that's a good idea. take this Wagyu meat and make some kind of a, we're going to make a poor man meatloaf. Damn, I can't never open these. We're going to make a meatloaf. That's the easiest thing to do. That's the smart thing to do. We're going to use two Wagyu patties for a meatloaf. Get a meatloaf. Wagyu beef patty meatloaf.
Okay. We're going to ground up a... We're going to put in some of this... Some cumin. Cumin powder. We're going to add some red paprika powder. We'll add some Himalayan pink salt. And some garlic. And garlic. Some black pepper. Get our pan ready on a slow heat. I ordered real salt, did you? We're making a pan meatloaf. Meatloaf in a pan. You know something that's missing? Oh, there it is. There we go, meatloaf in a pan. You didn't resub with Compound Kitchen. No, I need to call him. It's included, I just don't like their food. OK. 
Okay, let me make uh, change my clothes. Mandy's recipe? No, it's just something I whatever I have in the cabinet, that's the recipe. Whatever is in the cabinet is the ingredients. <laughs> Your recipe is what's available. That's what I do. I mostly cook at home. Yeah, whatever's in the cabinet, that's your recipe. Your ingredients are what was in the cabinet. Whatever you have, that's your ingredients. Oh. We're getting down to it. You know what goes in your food? That's true. Most time you don't know. <coughs> And take out, they use all sorts of fl food flavor enhancers from MSG to what have you. And I know when they're using that stuff because it gives me a headache after about 30 minutes to an hour after eating. <sighs> for me, I pass most of the time. That's good for you. Sure is a great day to have a great day. It is a great day to have a great day. <laughs> it really is.
top of our meatloaf stuff, we will add horseradish, mustard, Now the taste test. Tastes good. It's really hard to screw up beef. You can put about any good taste in it, and it'll be fine. Mmm. I cook two beef patties, two eggs. And stirred it up like a meatloaf. Added a bunch of spices and herbs. So it's basically a meatloaf. We'll eat this, then we'll go out. When's your next road trip, Ryan? Got a planned one soon? Need to plan you another road trip. Man, I hate the glare from the lights and then the white and the white and the white and the white print. Reading the text is a bitch. You like Texas? I don't know. Texas is good, but for fishing and hunting, uh, I, I must say Louisiana is better. Louisiana is number one.
But every state has some good spots. Michigan is beautiful, is it? Northern Michigan is nice. Mm. The worst part of Louisiana is actually the cities because of the crime. The crime in New Orleans is off the chain. You try to plan something for when the kids get out of school. Okay. Trout and salmon, that sounds good. The moisture from the Mississippi swamp is terrible. In the south, isn't there more peacock bass? I don't know. I usually fish in the salt water. I like fishing on the coast. Our freshwater fishing was always a lot of crappie, a few bram, and occasionally a big bass. And then the catfish. Lake St. Clair. I don't think I've been there. Not that I can recall. That was an okay dinner. Nothing too exciting, but okay. Every state has its own thing unless you live in Ohio. <laughs> I can't think of too much good things about Ohio, to be honest. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I don't really know much. I can't think of anything good about Ohio. Uh, I can sp I can speak to Ohio to have let better than where you are. You got up. Hold on a second. Here, watch Earl. I gotta go to the bathroom after eating. I shall return shortly. I must go to the men's room.
What are you doing, Earl? Are you just staring at everything? What do you think, Earl? You okay? Do you know the camera's watching you? Is that why you're looking? Oh, you don't want to talk now, huh? Try to go to sleep. I'm going to start slapping you every time I see you sleeping like you do with me. Every time I see you sleeping, I'm going to come over and start poking you. That's what he does to me. He pokes me, touches me. I have to shut the door so I can sleep. He be walking around at night, touching my face, jumping on my belly. That's Earl style. He's really uh, way too awake at night. Yeah, I'm sure there's some good places in Ohio. Your cat does the same thing? Yeah, I'm going to lock my cat out of the bedroom. I can't handle it no more. I've been locking him out. Occasionally, I forget to. Look at him about to go to sleep. You better not sleep. I'm going to wake you up. I need to tie a rope. It makes you stay awake all the time. <laughs> We're going to tie a rope to Earl. Every time he sleeps, I'll pull it. I'm going to been doing to me. <laughs> oh. And I got something going on next month. I forget what it is. I got to look into it. Most cats are like that. Really? Earl goes through stages. Sometimes he's awake, sometimes he's sleeping all the time. Damn it, I lost my damn vape again. Oh, why that's that sound? Are you going to play Daisy? Yes. After a while. I think I will. I have a, a new base and a fence or something. We need to go check it out. But we're just doing the training thing on the Daisy. We're not fighting nobody. It's not like a battle. It's just like running around a virtual map. I need 50 people, 100 people fighting, playing around, sneaking, yelling, hollering at each other. I mean, we're about done with the training phase, I think. You know, you need a server. I need 50, 100 people to be hard sneaking around, lying to them, convincing them about bullshit. JP, hello. Yeah, I like to get in there and holler at people, have fun. Just run around a map ain't no fun. It's okay, but I'm kind of tired of it. And everywhere you go, you got to drive 1,000 miles. It's a little slow for me. I'm trying to get slow myself down to like it more and more, but it's slow. If you don't like uh, battle royale fast games, you'll like that. Hopefully soon you'll meet a group of people. Well, you gotta invite them, you gotta get everybody on a server, then you gotta go to other servers. It's a lot of work. The learning curve now is just about what you can build and what makes what and try to find stuff. And also the loot and the shit you need to collect to make anything. It's just like looking for needles in a haystack. It's more like a damn treasure hunt. I'm learning watching you. I like the game. It's not bad. I like the manipulation games better where you have many players in there and you're talking to them. I think that's more fun. Salary is like drugs. This is true. Do you still have your boat? Yes, I do. 
I sure do. I think, uh, yes, Earl? Shut up. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're up to, but you, I know you. You ain't doing no good. You just want to come in and harass me for no reason. Earl's up to no good. He come in here just to talk shit. Hey, get out of here. Quit biting on my stuff. Uh. He's come in here to be up to no good. That's how cats are. I need to roam around before I play anything. You know? I need to go to the laundry dude and do some other things before we get into any games. Yeah, I gotta go out and about. I just gotta go laundry. That's my only priority. I didn't get a new chair. I gotta go somewhere up in Mom and find that. I don't even know where I'm gonna find this chair. They don't even have anything I want is the problem. Yeah, I gotta go to the bomb, but I ain't going today. I'll go on the weekend. It's kind of a headache. sitting here trying to figure out how to set this up. I don't know what to do. I forgot how to do this. Chair like a lazy boy chair. No, I don't I need one that has support. The lazy boy stuff is too is too harsh. It's too much. I need a chair that has some kind of support. Those real soft chairs don't do you any favors. I mean, he has like a similar to Lazy Boy Electric whole nine yard chair. I don't want that. Jail seat cushions. I don't know. Steve, what's up? Steve ordered a proper chair from Herman Miller. Let's see how his is. He has a proper chair coming. Get a massage chair with a cheat nowadays. Yeah, I've seen them, but that's not the trick. They don't work. They're not beneficial for me. Okay, I'm going to change over to the Twitch. You guys just refresh, and it'll be on in a second. We're going to go down and come back. 